So it's not that Jesus is saying, I'm going to fix this once and for all. Oh, he is on the cross, death, burial, and resurrection. But he's making a statement for us even today. Here's the statement. Jesus is the once and for all sacrifice. You no longer need a sacrifice to be in right relationship with God and receive forgiveness. We talked about it last week. I still believe one of the great reasons we are facing anxiety at an astronomical level in our culture is because we have a sense that we are not forgiven, that what we've done is still outstanding. The bill remains. I'm in debt. Something's off and something's wrong. And so I will have to cover it or medicate it or distract myself for a few decades because I know internally my soul tells me, my heart condemns me, the Bible says, and it tells me something's not right. And yet we peddle still today in 2019 a religion that tells people, as far as Christians are concerned, the reason we're forgiven is because we do things better than others so God forgives us. And that's the very thing Jesus drove out of his church. It's the very reason he turned over tables. Yeah. Yeah, but it's the same spirit. It's the same spirit. It's the same spirit. We tell people, or evidently, somehow, the rumor's gotten out, the story's on the streets, that you can't come to church unless you got your stuff together. That was the same problem 2,000 years ago. Here's the problem. Poor people couldn't even have enough money to pay for their forgiveness. So now it became a class system. And my next point is, we, 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 we pick... We pick Jesus over sacrifice. By the way, Jesus wants obedience, not sacrifice. Mercy, not sacrifice. Mercy. God wants mercy. He doesn't need big acts of grand morality to impress everyone. He needs a daily life of care, love, and mercy, one for another. That's what God desires. We choose the way of Jesus over sacrifice. Church home is not defined by sacrifice. You don't have to sacrifice to get saved. Jesus was the once and for all sacrifice. Stop trying to sacrifice and do all these good things to earn your way into a relationship with God. The way has been prepared. It has already been earned. Jesus is the sacrifice, and he's kicked out everything else that will keep you from him. How passionate is Jesus about removing what hinders all people from God? That's his mission, man. That's his mission. The other thing we choose is we choose Jesus over division. Jesus over division. You got Jews, you got Gentiles, you got foreigners, you got poor people, you got rich people, you got good people, you got bad people, you got upper class, you got lower class, you got middle class, you got different ethnicities and backgrounds, and they're all colliding at the temple, and it is divisive. And there's an undercurrent of manipulation and contention and competition and appearances and comparison, that made up the culture of the temple. And evidently, creator God doesn't want it that way. So he put on skin and bone and tore up the church to make a point. And that's why Galatians chapter 3 says there's no longer, now that Jesus has come, there's no longer Jew, non-Jew, slave, free, male, free, male. amongst us, you are all equal. That is, we're all in common relationship with Jesus Christ.